आय मिसेस वीणा सुनील पत्ती असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजिनिअरिंग वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर वेलकम यू फॉर दिस सेशन ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टुडंट्स कॅन अनालाइज आर एल सी सिरीज सर्किट थ्रू ए सी सो दिस इज द सिरीज सर्किट रेजिस्टर इंडक्टर अँड कपॅसिटर्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सेरीज वी आर इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस रेजिस्टर वी एल इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस इंडक्टर अँड वी सी इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस कपॅसिटर आर इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ ओहम्स एल इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ हेनरी अँड कपॅसिटन्स इन फॅरेड वी इज द टोटल वोल्टेज इज गिव्हन बाय व्ही एम साईन ओमेगा टी दॅट इज द ए सी वोल्टेज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस सिरीज कॉम्बिनेशन सो वी कॅन राईट डाऊन व्ही आर ॲज आय इन टू आर व्ही एल इक्वल टू आय इन टू एक्स एल अँड व्ही सी इक्वल टू आय इन टू एक्स सी वेअर एक्स एल इक्वल टू टू पाय एफ एल अँड एक्स सी इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू पाय एफ सी बोथ आर बेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ ओहम्स सो टोटल वोल्टेज इज द फेजर ॲडिशन ऑफ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस रेजिस्टर इंडक्टर अँड कपॅसिटर सो वी कॅन ॲड व्ही आर व्ही एल व्ही सी ॲज अ वेक्टर बिकॉज ऑल दॅट थ्री वोल्टेजेस आर नॉट इन फेज सो यू कॅन सी हिअर फ्रॉम दिस थ्री डायग्राम्स दॅट इज व्ही आर इज इन फेज विथ द करंट फॉर रेजिस्टिव्ह सर्किट व्ही एल इज लिडिंग टू द करंट बाय नाईन्टी डिग्री फॉर इंडक्टिव सर्किट अँड व्ही सी लॅग्स करंट बाय नाईन्टी डिग्री फॉर कपॅसिटिव्ह सर्किट फॉर दिस आर एल सी सिरीज सर्किट वी कॅन ड्रॉ द फेजर डायग्राम सो हिअर वी कॅन ड्रॉ द करंट फेजर अँड देन द वी आर इज इन फेज विथ द करंट अँड हिअर व्ही एल लीड्स करंट बाय नाईन्टी डिग्री अँड व्ही सी लॅक्स करंट बाय नाईन्टी डिग्री सो हिअर दिस इज द बेसिक फेजर डायग्राम फॉर आर एल सी सिरीज सर्किट अँड इफ वी वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ द फेजर डायग्राम फॉर दिस आर एल सी सिरीज सर्किट वी हॅव टू कन्सिडर द थ्री कंडिशन्स that is vl is less than vc vl is greater than vc and vl equal to vc so we are going to discuss all these three conditions one by one so for this first condition vl is less than vc so again we can draw this phasor diagram like this as draw first the current vector then vr is in phase with the current vl leads this current by 90 degree and vc lags current by 90 degree now when we calculate the phasor addition for this three first we are going to add vl and vc because both are exactly opposite to each other so after addition of vl and vc here we'll get the vc minus vl because vc is greater than vl so here we will get the resultant of that vc minus vl then that vc minus vl is added with this vr and then we'll get the total voltage v like this so this is the total voltage and the angle between voltage and current is theta so you can see here the current leads voltage by theta degree and we can draw the voltage triangle from this phasor diagram and we can write down the voltage and current equation like this v equal to vm sin omega t and i equal to im sin omega t plus theta so from this voltage triangle we can write down the voltage equation v equal to under root vr square plus in bracket vc minus vl bracket square then by putting the values of vr vc and vl we'll get the equation like this and 
we can write down this as v equal to i under root r square plus in bracket x c minus x l bracket square, where under root r square plus x c minus x l bracket square is z. So, here we will get the equation v equal to i into z or z equal to v by i and z is the impedance measured in ohms. So, we can draw the voltage triangle and impedance triangle like this and z equal to under root r square plus x c minus x l bracket square and in rectangular form z equal to r minus j x c minus x l and in polar form z equal to magnitude of z angle of minus theta and from this triangles we can write down the tan theta and we can calculate theta as tan inverse of x c minus x l by r. So, power factor is cos theta and cos theta is here leading power factor because the circuit is capacitive in nature. Now, pause the video and think for series RLC circuit impedance or voltage total must always be calculated by a adding values vectorially, b graphing the angles, c multiplying the values and d subtracting the values. So, what is the answer? So, answer is a because always we are going to calculate the total voltage and impedance by adding the values vectorially. For the second condition V L greater than V C. So, draw the first current phasor, then V R is in phase with the current, V L leads the current by 90 degree and V C lags current by 90 degree. So, first we are going to add V L and V C. So, resultant will be V L minus V C and by adding this V L minus V C to V R, we will get the total voltage V here like this and the theta is the angle between voltage and current and current is lagging to voltage by theta degree. We can draw the voltage triangle here like this. So, we can write down the voltage equation and current equation here V equal to V m sin omega t and I equal to I m sin omega t minus theta because current is lagging to voltage by theta degree. So, here the voltage triangle from that voltage triangle we can calculate the voltage as V equal to under root V r square plus V l minus V c bracket square. By putting the values of V r, V l and V c we will get the equation like this and we can write down that equation as V equal to I under root R square plus in bracket x l minus x c bracket square and V equal to I into z, where z is the impedance z equal to under root R square plus x l minus x c bracket square. So, z equal to V by I. So, z is measured in ohms. From this voltage triangle, we can also draw the impedance triangle and we can write down the formula for z as under root r square plus x c minus x l bracket square. So, in rectangular form z equal to r plus j x l minus x c and in polar form z equal to magnitude of z angle of theta and we can write down the tan theta from this both triangle and we can calculate theta as tan inverse of x l minus x c by r. We are going to uh, discuss about the condition V l equal to V c. So, this is the basic phasor diagram. So, first you draw the current phasor, V r is in phase with the current, V l leads current by 90 degree and V c lags current by 90 degree. Now, if we calculate the resultant voltage for this, 
first add VL and VC. But here VL and VC both are equal and both are opposite to each other. So resultant of that is 0. So if VL equal to VC then the total voltage is nothing but only the resistive voltage that is given by I into R or we can also write down that as a I into Z and from that we can write down resistor equal to impedance for this condition. So here we can calculate the power factor equal to R by Z and if R equal to Z then the cos theta equal to 1. We can say that the unity power factor is there for this condition. So here we can write down the voltage and current equation as V equal to Vm sin omega t and I equal to Im sin omega t because voltage and current both are in phase. So the condition for resonance we can summarize all that points as as Vl equal to Vc so we can write down that as Xl equal to Xc and impedance is equal to resistance that is Z equal to R power factor is unity and in this condition for resonance as Vl equal to Vc we can write, write down that as Xl equal to Xc that is why we can write down the equation as 2 pi Fl inductive reactance Xl is given by 2 pi Fl and capacitive reactance is given by 1 by 2 pi Fc. So we can equate that and from that equation we can write down the frequency as equal to 1 by 2 pi root Lc. So this frequency is called as resonant frequency and that resonant frequency is measured in terms of hertz. So you can refer the book Electrical Technology by B. L. Thereja. Thank you.